We all know Steve Carell is one of the funniest leading men alive, but we get a brand new look at his talent in the new film Foxcatcher, his mesmerizing take on John DuPont, an eccentric heir to an American fortune who made America's Olympic wrestlers his life mission. And we see here what DuPont's aristocratic mother thinks about all that. Mother, I am leading men. I am training them. I am teaching them. I am giving them a dream. And I am giving America Hope. Hope. It doesn't matter. I'm glad you have your trophy. It can go in the trophy room, not in the Rosemont case. I don't like the sport of wrestling, as you know. It's a low sport. And Steve Carell joins us now. A little mother-son tension there. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> and you are barely recognizable uh, well, in that scene. Bill Corso designed the makeup, and he, he's, he's really an artist. He's great at it. Now, this story, it was back from the 80s and 90s. Uh, John DuPont there, wealthy heir to the DuPont fortune, took these brothers, Mark and David Schultz, under his wing, these wrestlers, Olympic gold medal, medal wrestlers, and it takes a very dark turn and I was just wondering what drew you to the story. Uh, working with Bennett Miller, the director. Yeah, the director. He, he directed Moneyball and he directed Capote and he is very, very particular about the types of things that he gets involved with. So I figured if, if he's in, I am, I am all in. And I, he actually said that this role was very far outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I don't think I was on anybody's list for this kind of part. But and I wasn't campaigning for it, and apparently my agent submitted my name, and it gave him some pause, and he thought about it, and I, he sent me the script, and we met, and he offered me the part. So and then you, and you said the chance to work with him is all I need. Huge, yeah. And the fact, and I didn't know whether I could do it, but the fact that he thought I could do it was was enough. Well, it was clear you could do it, and and and, and this story has so many different layers to it. I was struck by how much of the story is told without any dialogue at all in the looks and the it's glances. It's very spare, yeah. It's very economical in the, in, and, and in the pauses and y y there's, a, there's a sense that you get from the movie um, and I think Bennett is really adept at that in particular. The New Yorker calls your nose the fourth main character <laughs> <laughs> in the film. Yes. And you know, you have, you have some good company there. Our, re our crack research team has found out. Did you know that there are actually Three other Oscar winners who won with fake noses. Really? Can you name any of them? Um, Robert De Niro, Raging Bull. Number one. Um, I would say Charlize Theron. Did she have a fake nose? She, no, but you're, you're, you're on to something there. It is a woman. Okay. Oh, uh, Nicole Kidman. Number two. You're yes. two for two. Now you got to go way back for the third. Um... Sure, Olivia de Havilland. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jose Ferrar, Cyrano de Bergerac. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. So you okay. are in, you're, in, you're in excellent company. Yeah, well, that <laughs> right would there. be, yeah, fantastic. So you ready to go back to comedy? Sure. You know what? Anything that's good, I'm, I, I, that's the time. I just want to do things that are, are good, you know, and, and this definitely whet my appetite to do things that have some depth to them and, I don't want to get pretentious about it, but man, it's it's fun to be a part of a movie like this. You're well, really it, proud was, of. it was also just magnificent to watch. It was it was just an engrossing, engrossing thanks. film. I hope a lot more good things come to you. Thank you. Steve Carell, thanks very much. Fosh Capture opens in theaters this Friday.